Hey Floss 2, I'm Whitney and this is my channel Whitney Stitches. We're back. It is Floss 2, August 4th, I think. Yeah, August 4th. Okay. This is Floss 2 number 7, I do believe. 6 or 7. 7. Oh, it's been madness around here. Let's see here, we have been doing softball. We're yeah. back at it. Scrimmages, practices. Lots of practices, lots of scrimmages. Um, the kiddos went to Cat Cat's house over the weekend for kind of a long weekend for five days. So they have to go down to Louisiana. We went down to Texas. I got to meet my new niece who was born in March. So I finally got to meet her. Um, let's see here. We celebrated our 14th wedding anniversary. So that we're gonna do a PT we go back to it tomorrow just as per usual yep. going non-stop so um, let's see let's get started I have one previous finish this is for not stitching but it's in my embroidery this is my welcome flag it's on burlap and I embroidered this about two years ago it's my Halloween flag that I put out in my garden. So we have that. As for that's the only previous finish I have because none of my Halloween, none of my fall stuff is out yet. Give me two weeks and it will be. <laughs> because the first weekend of school we're decorating. So after the 27th, it's on. So my first FFO, I fully finished the summer pattern from the Punch Needle Primitive magazine with Stitching with the Housewives. I did exactly what they did with the Chelsea's Checks, Priscilla's Pretty Plaids. This is stitched on 28 count Black Monaco and I have a bow with a little sunflower in it and it just pops on and off with a magnet. And that's one FFO. Can you see we'll get the other? Mm -hmm. I have too much stuff up here for me to do anything else. We got a lot of stuff to do. We do have a lot of stuff. Alright, right, and this is my other FFO. So we have the August calendar crates. I used the Priscilla Pretty Plaids and the Chelsea's Checks for the background. I have just a sunflower bunch and a cotton branch in there. And then I have my lamb's ear wreath along with the small that says sunflower seeds and honeybees. Mm -hmm. So it is ready to go to be put up on the wall. Um, let's see here. It's the only two FFOs I have. I don't have any other finishes because I full, completely worked on finishing in the calendar crates. And you did that for like a long time. Yeah, I finished summer. <laughs> I don't think it was done yet, but I fully finished it. Like, I, I just worked on those two only. Um, then I started, I've been monogamous, monogamous stitching a little bit. I have, like, two whips, so we'll see. Um, what's here? Let's get into whips. We have these two whips. Like I said, all in monogamous stitching. I started the pumpkin picking day by the back end of the truck series by Stitching with the Housewives. Started it. I'm using all the call for colors. I ordered the floss pack from Annabella's and I started this Thursday on our way down to Texas and Louisiana and this is how far I got. Not on Thursday but I worked on it Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So, and Monday? not Monday, because oh. Monday I did other stuff. But this is also in my new dot dot goose bag. Oh, no. I don't know if I showed this one last time or not. It should have been. I think you did. I think I did, because I should have had it by then. So that's that whip. Throw that down there. My other whip, I started this Monday, and. This is also a little bit of haul too. 
So I started the Bats and Booze Stitch Along with the Fat Quarter Shop. I chose my own fabric using floss I had in stash. And I'm sorry my nails are hideous. I haven't painted them. I'm a nail picker. When my husband drives, I pick my nails because it makes me nervous. He's a great driver. He's an awesome driver. I've just driven so much for the past, to say at least good four or five years that, because I'm the one that's taking the kids everywhere because he's working so much that I'm not used to riding with him anymore. <laughs> it's really funny because like, I'm I like, stress. we'll go to the first stop sign and he stops like a little late and mom's like, ah. Yeah, I don't like it. It is really annoying. He's used to driving fire trucks. I haven't driven a fire truck in 14 15, years. 14 years. 15 years, so, 15. yeah, because that time, a little bit, a few months before we got married, I, I wasn't driving, so I'm not used to it anymore. I mean, we met through the fire department. I was an EMT, and he's a paramedic, so that's how we met. I was his ambulance driver, we like to joke. I used to drive fire trucks and ambulances, and I'm not in the habit anymore, so. But this is my start. This is stitched on a mystery fabric so <laughs> color and cotton put out on their website that they did this is part of my haul too did a grab bag giveaway not giveaway grab bag thing so i ordered three eight by twelve pieces of even weave it's either 28 count or 32 count and you get three random colors this is one of my colors so, I'm pretty sure this is a 32 count because of how small it is. I'm my first time to stitch on 32 count and I'm loving it. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. What's I'm glad I've chosen even weave, but it's coming out great. So, that, the my stitch along is going on that. And it's all in my new bag from Creative Carol. So this is part of my, my other part of my haul. So it's the sunflower bag from Creative Carol. My very first bag from her. I absolutely love it. I never would have known, thought that adding a handle would make that big of a difference, but I've used it quite a bit. <laughs> so I love that. That's part of my haul. And my last whip, is the this is the quilty part bats and boos quilt along so i did my four blocks of my bats so this is my block my bat block i whipped that out this morning i knocked them out i knocked it all four blocks out this morning i had already had the pieces cut monday but we traveled yesterday to go pick them up. And then we gotta go to pictures. Yeah, we hit the ground running yesterday. We woke up, we live six and a half hours from my brother's house. So our halfway point, we normally meet in Paris, Texas at the Walmart. So that's four hour drive for us. And it's like a two, three hour. two and a half, three hour drive for my sister. Cause she lives in Shreveport. My brother lives in Hallsville, Texas. So when we go down there, we all normally meet at my brother's house because it's only an hour from my sister. And we normally stay the night there. And I play with all the both nieces and we visit and all that. And then we come back. That's what we did Thursday. Tuesday, yesterday, when we went to go pick them up, we left at 7 a.m. So we could meet up in Paris at 1130 and get back here in time to do softball pictures for her at 6.30. She had a hair appointment at five to get her hair and makeup done because I don't do any of that stuff. So I depend on my friends that do all that stuff to do it for me. So we stayed in the truck yesterday, but I got a lot of stitching done because of it. I did realize that the 32 count that I put uh, the Bats and Booze Mystery stitch along on is not a good count for me to sew with while I'm riding. So that's oh, yeah, why you can't count. I couldn't count. <laughs> and if you've ever driven on the Indian Nation Turnpike, 
you know, the, the right lane is bumpy as I'll get out, and the left lane is a little bit smoother, but you still have sections that you just, you just, you're so bumpy, you just give up. You just, just look at the scenery. That's all you can do. So, as my whips, I will, I'm looking forward to next week with week two of the quilt along and the stitch along. I'm really excited about it. I'm probably going to finish up the week one step of the stitch along today or tomorrow. And then have it ready to go for next week. Tickle pink for that one. Uh, let's get into haul. So we have, of course, I mentioned earlier the haul. It came with, my fabric came with that one fabric that I used for the stitch along. And then I have an orange fabric and a pink fabric. I don't know what count they are. One of them looks like 28 count, the pink one. And the orange one looks like 32. I'll know when I use it. So, that's exciting. Got that from Color and Cotton. Let's see here. I have the Bats and Boos quilt kit. I ordered it from Fat Corner Shop. Came with all the gorgeous fabric. The what? The black and white polka dot. The orange skulls. The bat fabric. And the two spiderweb fabrics. And I had, I ordered my kit in the second round of kits. So I'm the one, I'm one of the ones that got the second spiderweb fabric because I ran out of the black and orange bat fabric. So, and I also ordered the backing fabric, which is ghosts. It's cute. It's super cute. So we have all of it. Set that down, just down underneath your feet. We have all of it. Um, I also got my Crazy Annie's Floss of the Month. This is, I'm not sure what month this is. It's either, it's probably July's, since we're just finished July. It but we is. got Goldfish, Blueberry Tart, that was pretty. Pretty. Chai, or Chi Chai, whatever. I don't know. Lettuce Leaf. Pretty. That one's ugly too. Sunflower. That one's ugly too. <laughs> and really pretty. Vanilla Custard, which I use this pretty good bit in place of 3865 on some of my uh, bamboo. I use it in place of bamboo, 3865, antique lace. I use it sometimes to give it more of a creamy look instead of a white look. So we have that. I got the July Floss Frenzy from Fat Quarter Shop. It's the gray pack, shadow gray. It comes with Spanish moss, galvanized, gray, palmlico, pamlico, pelican gray, and flatfish. flatfish. I'm really excited about some of those. That's a funny name. Flatfish is a, it's a type of fish. Um, yeah. Got some Mill Hill beads so I can try to do that instead of French knots anything for that. Then I got on Annabella's. If you don't shop Annabella's, you need to. Get on Annabella's on Etsy. She does Bella bundles. And every Tuesday, she does a Bella tidbit, a Bella bit on her Floss Tube channel. And so she shows off the new fabrics that they got in the shop. So this Bella bundle is the Grays for the Priscilla Pretty Pads and Chelsea's Checks. That one's pretty. And this is the orange <gasps> version oh. of the Priscilla Pretty Pads and Chelsea's Checks. I like that one. This is the basket weave. They're all fat quarters. So you get two fabrics, fat quarters, that are from coordinating fabrics. And then this one is from the Sunday Stroll set. It's oh. all of the plaids from the Sunday Stroll quilt kit or quilt set and I just love that one the green the like, gray the blue I like the red in the back the reds like totally worth going on there and everything in Annabella's shop is 10% off 
thanks kid it's 10% <laughs> off it's automatically discounted and if you ever get something in your cart that's not 10% off just add the words thank you 10 it's either thank you or thank you 10 and you get 10% off anyway so when I ordered the two flosses that I did not have for the bats and booze stitch along I went ahead and ordered Halloween floss buddies. Aww. So I have these. Which ones are they? This is the Halloween. So it's Halloween inspired There's... pumpkin and tree. Yeah. So I've been using them like crazy. My good friend Cassie, she is also um, Oki Girl Stitchery on Instagram. I messaged her because she has everything on floss buddies. So I'm like, okay, how do you do it? Because I saw. Uh, Kimberly's suggestion on Fat Quarter Shop to take the floss buddy and put the classic color work or general arts card with it and to keep it labeled. I liked it, but in my, my head I was thinking, well, what's the point of having a floss buddy if I'm going to use the card anyway? The whole point for me is to get away from the card. So... I messaged her and she's like, oh, I use this because she's she's one of those just anally organized and it's amazing. As you can tell, I'm not. No. So her idea, and this is just my extra floss ring of all the flosses that I have not in use right now, is to use these little dots. I have them for embroidery, but you can get them at Walmart and each dot represents a certain brand. So for me, Green represents classic color works. Orange is uh, general arts. Yellow is color and carton, ca cotton. And pink is going to be my week style works. So you just put the little dot in the corner to show what color it is. And then using our label maker, mm -hmm. I typed out the color and put it on there. So now I have it. And I will only use this, like that color will only go on this one thing. So all of my extras, I will store in my tub and pull from this color only. Normally, I try not, like when I kit something up, I try to, if I have it spread out, like one color is used in multiple projects, I try to only put one color in the kit and I'll leave myself a note in the other kit saying, hey, this color's in this kit. <laughs> That way, I don't have 15 half skeins of floss everywhere. I don't, that annoys me. So, now I have an even better solution to that. Yay. And so, I'm going to try to pull from those first as I do it. My goal is to slowly, my thought process is to maybe buy one or two sets of floss buddies every month and get them incorporated to where eventually I can have all my colors on there. You're going to need like thousands of floss buddies. Mm. <laughs> maybe. Not yeah. thousands. Maybe hundreds. Thousand? Two thousand? Not thousands. I would say maybe hundreds. Maybe like two, three hundred of them. <laughs> Five, I don't know. Six hundred. I mean, they're a lot more fun to hold than the cards. I know, but you keep getting some every... Well, I keep the floss. I need to be in the floss clubs because I need to get all the colors. Like, this is Annabella's floss pack for their floss club for July. This is Morning Glory, Crushed Pineapple, and Crab Cakes. I like that one. It's a good burnt red to use, like, with barn door or something like that. Mm. That's a good one. Yeah. Just need more floss buddies. I'm gonna need a lot of floss buddies. That's why I said one to two packs a month. Since it's only a few. Till I get completely caught up. Alright, my other haul. I have a lot of haul. Yeah. Let's see here. I have, we'll save that for last because that's oh. the greatest. Sorry. I have Stitchy Stars by It's So Emma and Lori Holt. Now, I'm not doing the Claw 4 colors on it right now. My friend Cassie, of course, came up, she 
started it for Mania, and she did the colors, some Halloween colors for, she's gonna change all the colors up to be Halloween colors. And so she's doing holiday versions of it. Oh, that'd look cute. And I don't know if I mentioned this in my last video or not, but that's what I'm gonna do. So I have my Halloween colors picked out, my white damp, my 3865, and then I have mossy, pumpkin patch. purple aster, pumpkin patch, and uh, that is coal or onyx, onyx from Weeks yeah. Dye Works for my colors. And so I'm gonna get those that started pretty soon. As you can see, my pink dot from my Weeks Dye Works that I didn't flip my boss video around on. Awesome. Anyways. I have that all kitted up and I'm hopefully going to get it started as soon as I get through my two whips that I have right now. So I really want to get the pumpkin, it's pumpkin picking day. I really want to finish it and get Scarecrow break Bakery going. Um, this is Scarecrow Bakery. That's oh. also from my haul, <laughs> Scarecrow Bakery. We haven't seen that one yet. I got the floss pack from Annabella's with it too. Every time the housewives put out a new uh, chart, she tries, Annabella's on Etsy, tries to make a floss pack for it. And as it too, you can order it. I also got the September calendar crates. I can't remember if I showed this last time or not. I don't think you did. I don't think I did. I no, I did, did. I did yeah. show it. I did show it because I had two of them and I had to send one back to uh, Southern Citrus Co. Yep. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Maybe. Well, there it is. I did. Again. I have it again. I'm gonna start it soon. Probably not. Yes, I will because I already have the everything. Um, again, Southern uh, Scarecrow Bakery by Stitching with the Housewives. And I just got pumpkin seeds today. The new chart from the Housewives. I've already got it. Almost. I just I have the fabric cut. I don't have it kitted up yet. Here's my favorite haul of all. Another bag. A new project bag from Dot Dot Goose. Yay. I got her new bag. Isn't it beautiful and perfect? And look at that fabric on the inside. Oh, I love it. Look, it's my picture. Oh, it is. It's a smiley face. Of course, if you're getting a project bag from Dot Dot Goose, you have to get the project pile to go with it. Why is that a heart? That's where you stick your needle. <gasps> oh, that makes sense. <laughs> yep. Do you have a smiley face? On? I don't know. If it, nope. This one doesn't no. have the fabric that has the smiley face, but it's perfect. I love it. Always, always love Dot Dot Goose stuff. Uh, that is it on my haul. It is? Mm -hmm. There's a frowny face also. Yeah. Yep, there is a frowny face on the back. Is that very helpful? Um, we did a giveaway last week. We did Calvin and Clyde by Stitch with the Housewives. Oh, I like that. And the winner of it. Can I say it? Yes. This is Clyde. Yeah. This is her dog. I'll let her say it. Kathy Morrison. So, Kathy, yay, yay, you won. Message me on Instagram at Whitney Stitches, or you can email me at, at WhitneyStitches at gmail.com. Either one, both, either way, message me, let me know what you want, and you're, we'll get this shipped out to you. And our other giveaway... Are you the blue one also? <laughs> yeah. Was the Patriotic Picnic by Country Cottage Stitchers. And this was given to us by Holly Hobby Stitcher. Hi, Holly. Hi. I like Holly. She and I message a lot lately. Hi. And our winner for that one is Amanda Moore. Amanda Moore. Hi. Hopefully you can read that name. Yeah. Well, my handwriting's awful. So we have that. Amanda, I suggest Whitney Stitches on Instagram or Whitney Stitches at gmail.com. And we'll get that shipped up to you. We're very excited. We love giveaways. I think this one does dog on it. It does have the two dogs on it. They're not cakes, they're dogs. They're dogs. Not cakes. Yeah, I thought one was a cake. Or dog. So, today's giveaway, we're only going to do one, is 
the Country Cottage Needleworks November Cottage of the Month. So, oh, it has a turkey on it. It does. With the Olympics coming to an end soon, should be the next. If it's not finished, it should be coming soon. I think yeah. it's closed. I don't remember. Anyways, I my question is, what is your favorite Olympic event? So far, we have only watched softball. I've also watched swimming and gymnastics. Yeah, I like watching them do gymnastics. It's kind of cool. She watched it. On, my my brother records every single thing of the Olympics that he can, and then he'll sit there for the next two or three weeks afterwards and watch it. everything. So it's like he doesn't miss an event. He's always been that way though with us. He loves the Olympics. Yeah, at Olivia's house, I watched. No, at the slip the night that we went swimming at Garris. Mm -hmm. She had a gymnastics Olympics on, and me and Aubrey were just watching it like oh, I could never do that. Yeah. I could never do anything she does in there. I'm never bendy. So, um, we have that. What is your favorite Olympic event for the Summer Olympics? What did they say to get this one? At, oh, what they're going to say? To get November. To get November? Yeah. Let's do turkey. No, be quick. Turkey. Turkey, okay, turkey. Let's do turkey. I like turkeys. Turkey to win this one. Mom, she said gobble gobble gobble. Mm. And so, we're going to do turkey. You can say gobble gobble. Turkey, turkey. I don't care. Say something. And we will get that one done. Yep. Um, as for our plans, hmm, my plans are to keep working on uh, backing, up the backing up the truck and the bats and booze stitch along and quilt along. I will pop in in two weeks. So today's fourth, two weeks from today is the I don't know. 18th. Depending on what we're doing ball game wise, I should be in 17th or 18th. Well, I won't be here the 19th or 20th. That's Olivia's birthday. Okay, we'll do it down there. Yeah, 18th. So it'll be Casey's turn to be in the video. We're having to do turns because we had a little argument about it. It's my turn. So we're doing turns. Yeah. When Cat Cat's not here, they'll fill in. Um, we should be doing that. We won't be starting school yet. Can Cat Cat join on the 18th one? I don't know how to do this Zoom recording. We could not figure that out. Oh, yeah. We had to do three flies. <laughs> yeah. So, we will be doing the next one on the 18th or so. Other than that, yeah. my game plan is to, of course, the stitch. Stitch. The <laughs> housewives said that all of August's tear tree tear bits and dabber do dads are gonna be fall themed. Yay! And fall is the greatest time of the year. It so, is. So I'm gonna have to stitch all those. They're gonna have to take my money. Um, and I want to the, the September calendar crate and the scarecrow bakery has pumpkins on it, so. I need to get, I need to stitch that. So, Why stitching. Why did you do December and not the August one? Hmm? Why did you do September and not August? I already did August. That's what the sunflowers are. Oh, yeah. So, so September. <laughs> that makes sense. Right and I've ordered, already ordered the August, the October releases. For the October counter crates, October backing up the truck, and the new All Jarred Up series. I hopped on Fat Quarter Shop's uh, club for it, so I'm going to get the chart every every time they do one of those. Oh my. I need the housewives to slow down a little bit. <laughs> because I don't have enough time to stitch all these things. It's like, slow down. Like, there's just not, not, not enough time. Too many ball games. Too many ball games. Too many car rides. <laughs> Too many car rides. Which we're done with the car rides for now. We should be done traveling. No. Till Christmas. Well, well, Except for from ball field to ball home film and ball, to ball field, field to PT. To ball field. We got those car rides. But those aren't too bad. We only have like one or two that's in more than an hour away. So, yay for being in rural Oklahoma. 
None of your teams are near. No. So, I anyways. Other than Wyandotte, yeah, Wyandotte's only like eight minutes down the road. And Afton. And Afton's like two minutes down the road. Yeah. So, other than that, that's about it for us. We'll be back sometime around mid-August. So, we will see y'all next time. Yep. Bye. Bye. Bye.